Oh no. Oh no, this is gonna, this is gonna end up looking cursed. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm gonna give him blush. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. Next one. Don't do that again. What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be doing an art challenge that's gonna test the capacity of our mental library. Now, a lot of artists like myself, we like to talk about this thing called the mental library. What we are referring to is the amount of visual information stored in here. This is the skull of my enemy. It's, it's half the skull of my enemy. This this is the full skull of my enemy. It's, it's turning yellow. Why is it turning yellow? Now that visual information is what helps you picture things. It's what helps you draw things from imagination. For example, if I say dog, you probably have a really good mental image of a dog, unless you're one of those weird people who can't see things in their head. In that case, <laughs> do better, huh? How do you live like that? So in order to test out our mental library, the capacity of our imagination, we are going to do a random idea generator. So this is randomlistgenerator.com. You have a drawing idea generator here, and we're just gonna click generate, and look, now we've got random things to draw. So as you can see, I'm doing three because not every single word is a hit. Jewelry obviously is something we can draw, but a new world. Uh, what are you talking about? So that's the idea. We're going to keep it really fast. We're going to keep it really loose. It's just going to be like drawing in your sketchbook. And this is a great way to figure out what you know and what you don't know how to draw. If you want to do this with me, go get your sketchbook, get your drawing tablet, whatever it is that you've got, and let's go through this mental library capacity challenge together. That was a mouthful. Okay, now they do give you some pictures, but we're gonna we're not gonna look at those. We're just gonna try to avoid those pictures with our eyes, like how your dad avoids hanging out with you to go to the store to pick up milk and never comes back. Let's do like a humpback whale. It's fast, it's loose. You can see my lines here. It's like a bunch of chicken scratches, but that's okay. I want to test my mental library to see if I have this information in my brain at all. And usually there's not much in my brain. You know, I'm like a buzzing fruit fly. All right, so you see what I'm doing as I'm just setting down the shape for this whale. Um, now, if you want, you can pause the video and try to draw this yourself. And then when you're done, you can check your drawing with my drawing and see who did it better. <laughs> So all these humpbacks, they have really big fins, this big old mouth here with the little eyeball right there. And they have these like lines on the bottom of their belly, just like that. Make them a little bit more lumpy. I feel like humpback whales are kind of lumpy. They're lumpy like grandma. All right, something doesn't look right with this fin. I'm going to just bring this down. Okay. I feel like I know the general anatomy of a whale, but I don't know all the details. Like I think there is a little back fin here and boom. Okay. There's our friendly humpback. We're going to flip this canvas back. That looks pretty good. If you want to shake this, you can shade it, but I, I'm not going, or maybe I should. Oh, that looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. I, I hmm, there we go. That's, that's my whale. I'm not going to do anything else to it. See if I can pull up a picture and see how close we actually got. Okay. So there's our whale. That's our first image. This is the premise of the challenge. Whatever comes up on this generator, we're going to try to draw it. All right. What's next? We got pianos, coffee mugs. What's a a tidal wave. Okay. Let's try a coffee mug. Okay. So this is a really good exercise to practice your basic perspective. So there's the opening. There is the bottom. Now you see the reason that the sides of this mug is like going this way and this way is because we're viewing it from a top down perspective and there's going to be some, uh, what you might call it. You, you know what I mean? Hold up. Let me just make this a little bit rounder. All right. And it's going to say, I love Sam. And then on the side, we're going to get the handle. You guys see how fast I'm going? This is the speed that you should be going at as well. Okay. Don't slope down. This is just a sketch. Don't make it perfect. Here's the deal. You got to let your inner perfectionist go. Okay. As much as you want to cling on to that, you're never going to make anything that's perfect. Let that perfectionist go. Now I'm going to just shade the inside here a little bit, not too much and give it a very light drop shadow and a little bit of shading on this side, a little bit of shading on the handle just right there. There you go. There's your mug. It doesn't look that good actually. Hang on. All right, there, there's your mug. Okay, next up we've got musical instruments, your fears. I'm trying to think of what I'm scared of. Hmm. Maybe going downstairs for a walk and getting mauled by a bear. I think that's kind of scary. So let's draw a bear. Let's see if the bear is in my mental library. So I know they're big and chunky. This is a long snoot. And they tend to have droopy lips and a lot of saliva. It's kind of gross. Very thick front legs and even thicker back legs. Boy, that's thick. I'm trying to draw the front leg like he's taking a step, but it just doesn't look right. So I'm going to just take that out. 
and do it again. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. That's all right. You know, to my credit, at least it's looking like a bear. Uh, I'm going to use this pencil just to add a bit of light shading on the bottom side so you can get a sense of like the three-dimensional form of this bear so you can feel the thickness. The th thickness. Sorry, you guys. I shouldn't be objectifying bears. Now, what I love about this pencil is that if this is your surface and you draw like this, the line's going to be thin with a pencil. But if you draw like this, look, look what happens. Look how thick that line becomes, right? This is straight. This is on the side. It's amazing. It feels like a pencil. All right. And there we go. There's our bear drawn from memory. <laughs> okay. And the top one that we got is musical instruments. Now musical instruments. I think that's, that's pretty interesting. I used to play trombone and I feel like I remember what it looks like. We'll see. It's got this big bell, bell-like thing here on the front. Yeah, okay, I don't think I know what it looks like. Now it comes around like this, and it's like on your, it's on your shoulder, it's like an RPG. There should be like a mouthpiece here. So as you can see, this is definitely not part of my mental library. This is very, very bad. Uh, the reason for that is probably because when I was in school, I didn't really know how to play my instrument. So I just copied the kid next to me, like whatever he did on the trombone, I just tried to copy. And somehow I passed that class. And there we go, there's our musical instrument. <laughs> That's the best I can do. Generate. Animals wearing glasses. That's ridiculous. Snails. Okay, let's try a snail and then we can do the animals wearing glasses. Okay, so snail should go something like this. It's like a swirl, right? Like it comes in like this and at the front, you're going to get the body and the little eye things. These things are so fun and two smaller ones down here. All right, now I'm just going to shade this guy's body so I can make him look slimy. In order to make something look slimy, just add highlights right here. Some highlights right there. Boom, slimy snail. That's disgusting. Now let's do a bit of shading on the shell here. Boom. Look at that. Oh, delicious. I know my French audience is getting really excited right now. All right, awesome. There's our first sketchbook page. Now we're going to start a new sketchbook page. And the first image we're going to draw is animals wearing glasses. Now, what animal should we draw? Let's try a dog. It's ridiculous. All right. Glasses looks good. We can make it maybe like a German Shepherd or something. It looks kind of drippy. I like this guy. Okay, let's give him a chain too. <laughs> you know, this is not a bad prompt. My bad. I'm sorry. And there's his eyeball. What a charming little guy. Fantastic. Absolutely delicious. I'll just have it right there resting in the fur. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, let's get a new idea out here. Booby traps. Yeah, we're not doing that. Um, people at the beach. That's interesting. And old houses. Both are interesting. Let's try people at the beach. I feel like this is going to really challenge our uh, knowledge of anatomy. First up, you've got the cranium. Let this be an anatomy lesson for you guys. You've got the cranium right here, uh, and then there's the neck connecting it to the torso, and then you've got the rib cage, which is in the upper torso, and then uh, right down here, you're gonna get the hips, which is gonna be in the lower torso. Right after the hips, what we're gonna find are two legs, kneecaps, shins, and feet and just make this a little bit bigger. So if the prompt is people at the beach, she should probably be holding something beach related. This hand's going to be free. The other hand, uh, maybe she could be holding like a, one of these big floaties. There's some hair detailing, some ears, very basic facial features here, adding a little bit more detail, adding a bit of shading. That looks pretty good. Let's finish the legs, get some shadow underneath, make it look like a bright sunny day. And there you go. There is a sketch of people number one at the beach. Now let's try another people at the beach. A man. I'll make him a bald guy. And he's going to be absolutely deezed. That's pretty good. Now we're going to give him maybe a surfboard. Not the whole thing because it's going to get onto my other drawings, but you get the idea. So there's a surfboard. There's his hand holding the surfboard. And there we go, guys. There's our prompt for people at the beach. No references all from my mind. Generate the jungle bugs statues. I feel like bugs is an interesting one. We could definitely do a bug. Let's try to do like a generic beetle or something. So there's going to be the head. Okay. It's going to have some little antennas on the tip. Two big flaps for the wings. This is kind of like the beetles that I tend to see outside, even though I don't go outside too often. In fact, I don't go outside at all. It's a miracle that I know what a bug looks like. And usually beetles are shiny. 
So let's try to make them shiny. If you wanna make something look shiny, you just gotta give it a very high contrast. All right, let's get some dark shading on here. Some dark shading. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing right now, but some high contrast highlights here. Watch when you zoom out. Oh, look at that. What a shiny beetle. All right, that's great. So beetles are in fact in my mental library. I don't know why. <laughs> Generate turtles. I like turtles. Okay, let's do a, a tortoise, <laughs> like Master Ugwe. They have an interesting look. In fact, I'm not sure what they look like. Oh no, oh no, this is gonna, this is gonna end up looking cursed. <laughs> I just know this, what am I doing? They do have flappy skin on their neck, I know that. Okay, so it's got a big round shell on the back, got some patterns on it, I think. Uh, at the front, there's also going to be a bottom shell. And then in between the top and the bottom shells, I think it's got these stumpy little legs like that. You know what? This is going much better than I thought it would be. Until you do one of these challenges, you really don't know what the heck is going on in your brain. Like, why do I know this? Okay, you know what? Never mind. I, maybe I don't know. <laughs> he looks kind of weird. He looks weird, but he's cute. You can get away with being weird if you're cute. Okay, let's add a bit of shading under the head. You know, when I say shading, it's just scribbling here. It's really not refined at all. And I feel like you can identify that as a tortoise. <laughs> Generate. Ears. Oh, that's, that's a tough one. We can try. So the ear should be a rounded shape, kind of like this. What makes the ear really tricky is all of the things going on inside. I'm going to obviously try not to look at my own ear here, but there is an outer rim of cartilage on the ear. This is where you put your cartilage piercings, right? And it doesn't really go all the way down. So from what I remember, there's like this thing here in the middle. Um, yeah, and everything else is kind of a blur. I literally drop porches all the time. How do I not know what an ear looks like? There's an earlobe here, okay? And then there's this thing. There's like this Y shape in here that follows the general shape of the ear and it comes down kind of like that. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Okay, there, there's my ear. There you go. I'm gonna check my own ear in the mirror right now and see how close I got. That's pretty good. Hold on. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. It's in my mental library. It's not super clear, but it's in there. <laughs> Generate rainforest swamp creatures. Swamp creatures. <laughs> Eyebrows. Now, if you don't know what I'm drawing right now, shame on you. It's got a big nose and an even bigger mouth. If you still don't know what I'm drawing right now, shame on you. It's got beautiful glistening eyes. I'm gonna give him blush. Oh yeah. Okay, this is really bad. It's Shrek, but it looks nothing like Shrek. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Next one. Witches. Do I have witch in my mental library? I don't know. I've got this big hat, big nose, wrinkly face, no teeth, dusty hair. Do some liquefy and there, there's our witch. Okay, that's pretty simple, but I think I got that one down. Dude, my Shrek is so bad. Oh, I'm ashamed of myself. Hats. I like hats. I know all kinds of hats. Okay, let's do a beanie. There is a beanie. Nice and simple. Nice and concise. Uh, let's do a cap, like a baseball cap or something. A little thing at the top. There you go. There's your baseball cap. I'm going to put I love Sam. And let's do the classiest of them all, a fedora. There's the little band, the little rim. Uh, look at that. A beautiful set of hats. Oh my God. Okay, birds beer bottles and dogs. Okay, these are great. We're gonna try to finish off with these. Let's do a bird. Sam does birds. Why don't we try a seagull? I don't think I've drawn a seagull in a while. They have this beak that's kind of bigger at the front uh, because they catch fish. They look pretty plump and they look pretty annoying. Now let's draw the legs. It's got these like annoying little legs. All right, guys, so right now my seagull is looking a little bit like a chicken. Um, here, let's just correct this a little bit. I do not want a chicken, I want a seagull. Okay, there is our seagull, but you know what? Speaking of chickens, let's try a chicken. Chickens I definitely should know how to draw because I've seen plenty of chickens in my time. Okay, so here's the beak. There's the little eye that has no thoughts behind it. Okay, there's the front of the chicken. This is gonna be a female male chicken. It's not going to be a male chicken. Yeah, see, there there we go. That's a pretty good take on a chicken. All right, seagull and chicken. These look great. So the next one is beer bottle. I definitely know how to draw a beer bottle because I see it every single day. <laughs> so it's going to be the cap, uh, like the puppy cap. And then there's going to be this neck that comes down like this that attaches to a slightly bigger body. It's going to be a little bit round. Again, keeping things in perspective perspective here coming all the way down there's the end of that bottle just giving it some simple shading here and some drop shadow right there boom there's your beer bottle now let's do 
dogs. So let's try to draw a Shiba. I definitely should know how to do this because these guys are some of my favorite dogs. They have a very upright stance. They look like very proud little dogs. And here's going to be the back leg, other back leg, just like that. Again, not super detailed, but you get the idea. There's going to be a little curly tail just like that. Um, something's a little bit off with the face here. I'm going to add a little bit of drop shadow just down here, shading on the back leg. And there we go, guys. There's our little Shiba. He looks great. So we started off very weak on this sheet and <laughs> I would say we uh, finished off pretty strong here. But yeah, there we go, guys. So this is a really fun challenge just to test out how much you have in your mental library. There is no help whatsoever from any reference images here. We are just pulling things out of our memory, out of our imagination. And uh, I, I love this guy, this Master Ugwe. All right, so let me know which page of sketches is your favorite. I really like this one. The second page is probably going to be my favorite. Um, the third page is great, but Shrek kind of ruins it. And there we go, guys. There's our no reference mental library only art challenge. It's quick. It's simple. It's just a bunch of sketches. If you decided to follow along with me, let me know how it went for you. I hope it wasn't disastrous. And if you guys want to see more content just like this, please do subscribe to my channel. Check out my Patreon for monthly tutorials on how to draw, how to draw good. And I've also launched an art book. So check out the link down below for that. And with all that being said, I love you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself and I'll see you on the next video. Go on now. That's it. That's the end of this video. There's no nothing else. There's nothing else. All right. Take care. Okay, guys, now that all the fake fans are gone, dude, I have this thing right now. Okay, I'm look. So I'm working with a new manufacturer right now and um, we are designing the second, the second wave of the burp. So this one is going to be like a little bit smaller, but just as squishy, just as fluffy, just as absolutely fantastic look at this little guy this is just a prototype so there are some more adjustments that we have to make but uh look for this guy to drop soon i don't know how soon but like <laughs> look at look at him look at him yeah fantastic